Hey everyone, today we're going to be installing the Hook Road spare tire carrier reinforcement. I'm going to be putting a 37 inch tire on the back of the Bronco now and uh, as such we're going to need a little bit more strength than what this was designed to carry, a uh, 31 inch. So I already unbolted that, it's a 13 millimeter socket size, you take uh, 8 bolts out, pops right off, you do have to pull a cover from on the inside to access these wires this is your backup camera and your tail light over your third your third tail light so there's what you're dealing with when you're removing this panel there's these little plastic hooks that are holding it in around this side here so when you're removing the panel you want to pull on the left side of the panel like this to remove it i just hooked it with one of these plastic panel removing tools and pop right out no damage. Also, I'm going to extend this out so it reaches over the 37 inch tire. This will be totally occluded by the rear tire, so it will have to be bumped up. Um, so I'm probably just going to fabricate some kind of simple little uh, lift plate for that. I'll have to take a little closer look at that in a minute. But as far as the install goes, we're just going to follow along the instructions here. I've already completed page one where it's telling you to disconnect the those electrical connectors by accessing them through a panel in the rear I just popped this panel off and I'll show you how I did that well I'll show you that in a minute I got the door taped and I already got the uh, bolts out of the hinges so these are no longer supporting the door what I did is I wedged I put some wedges under the door to make sure it stays exactly where it is and I put some tape on here for one to, to hold the door so it doesn't just fall out on me but also to witness exactly where it was before releasing the screws. All right, going on to the second page. We removed the spare tire carrier and we've unbolted the door hinges. Now we're up to step 10 and that is going to be actually installing the new reinforcement. All right, install the supplied eight millimeter by 45 millimeter bolts in the kit comes with uh, these are the 8x45s they are the longer of the two different length bolts that come with the kit um, the pictures actually show what looks like a machine screw a socket head cap screw um, installing them so that's just a little out of date with the hardware they sent this looks like stainless hardware which is nice and those are button head install the 45 millimeter long bolts and spacers to the reinforcement installed to the gate using 6 millimeter allen wrench no, use the stock bolts to hold up the other side while lining the hinge bolts. It required a T45 Torx to remove the factory bolts. So just FYI there. I'm also going to remove the bumpers for the original tire and replace these with a new 3D printed bumper. Once I get the new spare, spare tire mounted on here, I'll take a measurement and see what I got to modify or what I got to make these new bumpers. Um, and if you need those, I can uh, print those and sell them on the website as well. All right. There is the spare tire carrier reinforcement. It's made out of 10 gauge metal. So, and black powder coated. Looks nice. Well, these instructions could be a bit better. For one, the spacers versus the washers that are included. It seems a bit ambiguous as to where those actually go. It says to use them, but not where. There's only four of these plastic spacers. They're maybe 10 millimeter thick, 3 eighths. So, means that there's four bolts at the hinges. I'll assume these must go behind there. Let's put some plastic washers behind here. Let's see if I can find some plastic washers before I continue. So. Problem solved. I've just taken some electrical tape and taped it some plastic washers to the back side of this so we don't have any direct metal to metal contact. I'm not cool with that. Another possibly good option would be to line the back of this with some 3M DHB tape. Give you a little bit of a cushion between the you painted your nice paint job and this aftermarket piece. To go through and get every every piece of uh, hardware loosely 
started. Not a lot of thread engagement there. Feels like these 45 millimeter bolts should have been 50s. All right, so I just got to show you just how badly misaligned this uh, plate is. If I can get a shot of this, but. This plate is not conforming to the shape of the tailgate. I'm almost considering putting it in my brake press and bumping it back a little bit closer to flat. So both ends were tight against the tailgate. It's, it's sprung so far out that I can't even get this bolt to start threading. It will not catch. It's just too far away. One thing to note about this is this is a plastic carrier plastic injection molded carrier and it only has a little bit of thin uh, very thin sheet metal coming in here picking up the studs so putting a 37 inch tire on here well we're gonna do it see what happens again not a lot of thread engagement I'm not going to push on the plate to bend it flat enough to actually get the threads to engage and they just, just start. I've added a sixteenth of an inch of extra material behind it, but there should be better thread engagement that, than that. Um, I've added those plastic washers behind it and the fact that I have to push on this, and by the way those washers didn't affect that alignment at all or that that curvature. The fact that I'm having to push on this so hard just to get the threads to start means you'd definitely be scratching your paint up if you don't put some kind of protection behind there. With all the bolts in place, we're going to tighten everything down and then simply reconnect our electrical connector. And that's basically it for the installation. All right, in the next video on this subject, I will have the tire mounted up and we're gonna go off-road. We're gonna catch some air and do some wild and woolly stuff and see if this tire carrier can hold up. If this thing fails, I'll check into the aftermarket to see if they have an aluminum or some kind of metal uh, version of one of these available uh, and also possibly even just fabricate something of my own. So stay tuned, thanks for watching.